YouTube, it's Zamblaze TCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel today. We're going to be playing the best deck in the format, Charizard Pidgeot over on the rank ladder. If you guys are high for it, let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button and subscribe for more daily Pokemon TCG videos. We actually recently passed 50,000 subscribers, so uh, I want to thank every single one of you guys that is subscribed to the channel. With that being said, Charizard is a monster in the format, it's insane. You evolve into it, get energies from the deck, slap more damage depending on how many prize cards the opponent has taken. You can get any card from the deck with the help of Pidgeot EX and you can set that up with candy. There's an Arvin package in here so uh, you can easily find a rare candy or your, your tool cards. And the, the other cool thing is that with a high amount of Rotom and Nazball in the list, you're actually going to be able to uh, get into the game more consistently. And consistency is key in a format going blind, definitely for stuff like EOIC. I did tag in the, the one Mist Energy for TM Devo and Star Requiem, uh, as well as Frenzy Gouging, even though you will see that a little bit less. Uh, it's still in here, but I did cut Jirachi. So high risk, high reward, that's what I'm calling it. So uh, hopefully you guys are excited. Also go check out our sponsors for today's video, dragonshield.com for your sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. And uh, you can use uh, the Zapdos 5 coupon for 5% off. Yourplaymat.com uh, gets you covered if you want to create your own custom playmat. Super cool to be having that. There is uh, potownstore.com for your TCG Live code card needs. You can use the coupon ZAPLUSTCG for 5% off. And cardmarket.com gets you covered if you want to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. So uh, here we are in a fresh game. The opponent won the coin flip. So let's see if uh, we're going to be able to go first or second. Uh, most decks in the format actually want to be going first. Like maybe Future Box wants to be going second. Some lost boxes as well. So yeah, the opponent allows us to go first. Let's see here. We have two Charmanders. Okay, two Charmanders is better than one. This one is probably going to get sacrificed, so I'll start with that. And uh, let's see what the opponent is playing. They're playing Future Box. Future Box is a scary deck. Yeah. Well, we need to have like... Uh, yeah, we got a Mulligan. That's fine. We have an Osbo. That's fantastic. Okay, how do we go with this? Our first Charmander is probably going to get amped. So I'll go Nest Ball, then find Rotom, and then draw some cards, shall we? Attachment over here. And let's go. Draw power. Bzz. So we have Arvin. We can get Forest Seal Stone, Ultra Ball, Forest Seal Stone grabbing candy and then go from there uh future box having heavy baton they're gonna go for iono which uh, it's okay we didn't find like candy's art in hand already so now we still don't have candy's art where were the candies electric generator whiffing out five cards in hand if they don't have techno radar we could get away by surviving a turn which is gonna make things a whole lot more easier Hmm. Okay. Candy. All right. I'll take it. Um, Ultra Ball. I'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of that. So the funky fact is that uh, the Iron Crown is actually weak to Darkness. So you can actually get the first couple of prize cards already. And the opponent will not be able to stand against the power of Charizard. Three energies, let's go. One for you, one for you, one for you. And on, on top of that, we have the crazy research. So look at this deck being consistent as ever. We could slap down a Pidgey. Uh, the rest is irrelevant and <laughs> they already can see it. So, Future Box. If they then get the first turn attack off and we get a Zard out, Future Box is history. You see how strong Charizard actually is, man. You just evolve and already get yourself into the game so easily. While lots of decks are struggling with consistency, since the deck relies on Rotom as well as a high amount of ball engine cards, you typically have a turn to Zard. Typically. Definitely with Arvin, with Four Seal Stone, etc. So let's try it out again. Charizard. So that future box was really destroyed. Like turn two. Destroying an Iron Crown. That's typically what you want to be doing. If you have like that, then you can no longer lose games. I'll go first. The list is designed to go first. Initially. With Buddy Buddy Puffin, you're off and ready to go. Uh, yeah, we have a Buddy Puffin. Don't start with Radiant Zard like ever. That's very bad. 
We do have the Buddy Buddy Puffin, so let's see what that... We have a... Oh, another Future Box. Sure. Charmander, Buddy Buddy Puffin, Pidgey Charmander. I don't know if I should get out Pidgeot, because it is weak to Lightning. Could sacrifice three prize cards, but on the other hand, it can fetch any card you want, so... Let's see, we have four candies, so that's super nice. And that's where the fun ends. So our Manaphy probably is gonna get knocked out here. The Arvin can fetch. If we top deck Nazball, Rotom, Ultra Ball, Candy, we can get the stuff done because Arvin can fetch Forest Seal Stone Nazball to get the last piece. So let's see if we're able to get a turn to Zard this time. Our hand is not that great. We were able to set up a couple of Charmander, but that's where the fun really ended. Yeah, Manaphy will definitely go down. Techno Radar. Future Box getting more and more popular. Peak Acceleration is a very strong attack, to be honest. Definitely if you're able to power that up with a couple of Iron Crowns. What are we gonna do with our Arvin? Radiant Zard can also KO an Iron Hand, but that's also less good than it used to be because Iron Hands can actually amp you very much for uh, 160 or more now. We have Counter Catch to stall. Yeah, I wonder what our top deck is. Our top deck will need to save ourselves in this situation. Iron Bundle, attachment onto the Maridon, Hyper Blower, sure, take down this guy. Because the reason I didn't want to like sacrifice, <laughs> they can actually KO us uh, with the Peak Acceleration. It's alright, Peak Acceleration, are they just gonna go one prize mode or whatever? Hmm, this is getting kind of tricky. Maybe they didn't have anything. They had an Arvin, but up to go for a Techno Raider, or they could get Donks or something. A bunch of Grass Energy. So they are playing Future Box. Instead of Iron Hands, it's gonna be with Iron Leaves, which is kind of scary. It's a Nazball. That's fantastic. Nazball, Rodom, and then Rodom. For a seal stone shenanigans. Okay. Here we go. Arvin. Let's get rare candy and for a seal stone. For a seal stone. Using star alchemy. Okay. We have candy in hand. So we are definitely just going to get a Charizard right from the get go. No Ultra Ball. I'm not going to empty this hand here. Candy's art. So a turn two, Candy's art once again. One, two, three. We could get a uh, one shot by an Iron Leaves, but uh, for us to just stop that, we need to KO the one that has two Grass Energies. Let's go away with you. Turn two, Zard. It's still scary because they're playing the Grass Energies. Charmeleon, definitely useful. That means we only need to find a Zard next turn, unless we get one shot now by some miraculous situation. Six cards in hand. Hmm. And Arvin again, so they're not altering our hand. Our hand is very bad. They can still use Peak Acceleration once again, but then they're gonna have to slap down Iron Leaves. Iron Leaves is a really great counter for Charizard. So we were already able to win against one Iron Hands, like one Future Box, but this is a, a different Future Box. And what are they gonna set up here? Techno Radar, can they get like some two price Pokemon?
Getting rid of the Poke Gear. Which Pokemon are going to be sat on the bench? More one prize Maridons or will they already slap down a two prizer? We currently slap 210 damage with Burning Darkness. Hmm. Again, top deck mode. We currently have played one Arvin and that's where the fun ends. This is a two prizer weak to Darkness though. So that is super great news. EXP share coming down on the Iron Crown. How many grass energies? Like, I already slapped off two grass energies. I wonder how many they're playing, to be honest. If they're only playing like two, that would be nice. Then they're gonna have to rely on the reboot pot if they're actually. Oh, two grass energies. We're done for again. 80 damage. Okay. Uh, what can save us? Like, boss's orders again. We need to, like, gust up the iron crown. Mm hmm. Arvin? Okay, uh, Arvin, what can we get here? Counter Catcher is not working, but the Vacuum is working, which means we can knock off uh, that EXP share shenanigans, which is great. I'll get Lost Vacuum and a Maximum Belt. Let's go. I will slam down Charmeleon. I will vacuum away that EXP share right there. There we go. And then I will... How many... Do we have to get some stuff? There's a PG, that's all about it. I could slap down Radiant Zard. If they take two prize cards right here, it's still not going to be able to get activated. So it's going to be for later. For now, I'm just going to knock out this Maridon and hope... They don't have any more grass energies. I would be surprised if they have that many grass energies in your deck. A PG out of nowhere. I uh, was just thinking about the current situation. Uh, this Iron Hands is not going to be able to deal with Charizard. We have 250 HP. Their maximum damage output in Iron Hands can dish out is 260 with 4 Iron Crowns and a future energy boost capsule. And uh, they, I've already knocked out 3 grass energies. This is like a deck playing with more. That's currently 4 in play. And there's no way to fetch these energies. So if they had more grass energies, it would have already accelerated them to the Iron Hands. So I think it was the nice play. Then if we survive this hit, these are all 2 prize Pokemon. We slap down the maximum belt. Okay, there's a research. Okay, they also play this uh, unique uh, Maridon EX. Cyber Drive 220, strong damage output. Nice ball. Is it going to be another baby Maridon? How many baby Maridons? Okay, another Iron Crowns. Two Iron Crowns. That is 40 additional damage. There's the Town Store as well. With the Future Energy Boost Capsule. I'm still afraid of Iron Leaves, but I think we played around that perfectly. Gift energy coming on the Iron Hands. Future energy boost capsule coming on the Iron Hands. And this guy's gonna be slapping 20, 20, 20. And that's gonna be 20, 20, 20. 220. 220. Still not enough to knock us out, which is great. Arm press and Charizard survives. Okay, cool. We have a Pidgeot. So in this situation, if we have Candy and uh, we can actually find some more stuff. I'm actually going to slap down this. I'm going to slap down that. I'm going to get a Maximum Belt equipped in here. I'm going to use the Town Store. Fetching another tool, the Defiance Band. Not that it's going to be useful anytime soon. I don't think they're playing Judge or anything, but I could, I could equip it here already. But maybe an Ultra Ball could save the way, so I'll wait. Then a Burning Darkness. Knocking out these iron hands and saying, ow, you're out. And they get gift energy activation, drawing a couple of cards, but we are so far ahead in the price rate currently and they don't have any Pokemon with energies. Yeah, we have Turo and Arvin, so uh, insane. We just slaughtered this deck quite easily, I might add. 
and we weren't even finding like the correct situation. We had to like play around that using the vacuum, protecting ourselves from a potential iron leaves because with two grass energies in play, they slap down iron leaves and get one shot it, which is kind of annoying. And now we only take two more prize cards, and these guys are weak to darkness. Now we have Arvin, so they will need to play down an Iono. They have not played any Iono quite yet, so an Iono could save them, but we could still draw to Ultra Ball or Charizard and we win the game. Pretty much. That's why I also used the Town Store to get the Fines Band already out of the deck. And I could, I'm still afraid of them knocking us out with like a baby Maridon and then powering up an Iron Hands, which can then take three prize cards. Um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be possible. We are in a great position. On the other hand, if they knock us out, Charizard, Radiant Art could also become a threat at one point. Okay, an interesting take. There's a couple of different version of Future Box. And this version is playing Grass Energies, presumably a lot of them. And a couple of different attackers. I also don't see electric generators in this list. And I think the Turbo Iron Hands version is a bit better. Also, next weekend, it's the European International Tournament. And I'll be vlogging that event. It's going to be a fantastic ride. I already have my Worlds invite, but currently battling it out for top 22 in Europe. So uh, that would be a fantastic way to end the season for sure. And as you see here, Maximum Belt is so great in situations where you're the aggressor. And I actually was able to one-shot Iron Hands quite easily. Okay, there is an Iono coming, so we will need to find a Zard or Ultra Ball or Supporter. There's a Candy. We could still Insta Charge a little bit as well, I guess. Radiant Zard can one shot all of these fellas as well. Mm hmm. There's Mew EX. I, I think if they're not able to. Res okay, they, they will need to respond to this. And I don't know if they have Baby Iron Hands. Actually, Baby uh, Maridon's left in the deck they did shuffle them in now Mew EX will need to draw into will draw need to draw into a baby Maridon in order to deal with this Charizard we start for two baby Maridon yes no concede three two one concession no they have the techno red do they have the energy though iron leaves leaves the building Let's see where we're going with this iron boulder as well man it's like future, and they have another vessel. Crazy. Okay, they do have some stuff they can work with. How many gusting cards? Zero gusting cards. They probably still have Reboot Pod or Prime Catcher. Yowza. Okay, not good for us. Not good for us. Peak acceleration. Zard goes down, and we don't have gusting either. And uh, the thing we want is uh, Charizard and Gust. So to make that happen, how many Ionos did they play? Only one. Yeah, the disruption here could definitely cripple us. I wonder which Pokemon they're gonna set up here. Yeah, more Grass Pokemon. So they are prepared to attack again with an Iron Leaves if we attack with Zard. That is kind of scary. Ultra Ball. Do we have... We can actually get the Zard out. We can get the Zard out. Or we can get the Pidgeot out. I think Ultra Ball for Pidgeot is better. Because now we have full control. Candy Pidget, and if we are able to, we just need to find Gust and all that stuff. So, quick search. I'll go for the heavy draw of a research. 
Let's go. Professor's research. Let's go. We can get another Zard out as well. Uh, buddy Buddy Puffin. Charmander. So we can get another Zard out, but that's our last Zard of the bunch. Okay. Interesting. We only have one more Zard. We will fall behind if we attack with Zard, then we can counter catch her. Let's see here. If we Ultra Ball get Zard out, knock this guy out, they don't have a way to respond. Charizard. How many energies do we have left? Three energies. If we knock this guy out, there's no way they can deal with a Zard. I think we win. Yeah. Here we go. We can also attack with Radiant Zard, by the way. So, one, two, three. No, we only need two. Save one energy in deck just for Radiant Zard. And then we win. So we have Pidgeots. We have everything. We retreat. Charizard. Evaporate. And an Iron Leaves could potentially come, but they threw away an Iron Leaves. And if Iron Leaves comes, we attack with Radiant Zard. That's what it is. There's still one energy in deck, so we win the prize trade. Iron Leaves in the discard pile, though, so I don't know if they're playing two. They could be playing two. But with Pidgeot in, uh, in this board state, we automatically win. This guy also only able to stab 220 with one, two, three of these, four. That's 80 additional damage. It's 300, man. They could go to 320 with this uh, monstrosity of the Maraid on the axe. Insane. We can no longer use counter catcher, so maybe um, hmm, we have one candy left. We can still get another Zard out as well with a Pidgeot Super Rod. We can just do anything. Pidgeot is in play. Unique future box deck with like all the future Pokemon. Iron Boulder. Iron Leaves. Iron Bundle. Too much of the iron stuff. Opponent still not conceding. Even though we have Checkmate on board. What can they possibly do? Trap Radiant Zard. And do we still have Turo? Yeah. Turo is still in the back, so even that is not an option. To like trap us a little bit and then spread around with the twin shuttles. Hmm. Yeah, the opponent is definitely taking their time, thinking about their options, but their options are done. There's no way they can deal with the pressure of Charizard. We have boss in hand. We even like currently slap 60, 90 additional damage, so we're at 270. There's not a single Pokemon in their deck that has more HP than that, so... Torton? Iron Leaves? That's a funky Torton. Or, yeah, Iron Leaves does need two Grass Energies. Iron Boulder, We're gonna try out with that. 240 HP is also going down. One forty damage. Mm, nah, that's the game. We're just also gonna eat up a Mew, just showcasing that we had boss regardless. So let's get out of here. Mew EX evaporated by the burning darkness of Charizard, and uh, yeah, the terrestrialized Charizard EX is just such a strong deck, as you can see. Very, very nice. Like having a turn to Zard like wins you so many matchups. It's incredible. Okay, 
two different Future Box decks done. We had the Iron Hands one, destroyed. And then the other one, also destroyed. Okay, let's collect our rewards on the rank ladder here. We actually had tier 19 from the Temporal Forces uh, Battle Pass. Let's collect. What do we have? An Explorer's Guidance Full Art. Cool card. I also have that in real life. Looks pretty damn nice. Okay, next game. Please, no more future stuff. Give us a little bit of the ancient stuff. Or give us like Chim Pao to showcase the power of the Maximum Bell. Hmm. Alright, it's a Gengar coin. Okay, let's see if we can get another turn to Zard. I would love to have like an incredible opening hand this time around. Opponent wins the coin flip. Happens every single time. And we are here struggling it out. So the opponent will go first. Okay, it's not future box. We have Charmander and PG. I always recommend starting with PG if you go second, so we can go call for family. Calling the family always is great. You can already attach and then go for a big research. Looks like we are up against Law's box. I wonder which version of Law's box it is. A buddy buddy puff and getting thrown away. We will need to establish Manaphy. Actually, I'm not playing Jirachi, so it's, it can become quite, kind of tricky. Definitely with some TM Devo shenanigans going. Jet Energy. Okay, it's, it's going to be Giratina. That's way more difficult. Um, Charmander. Attachment here. I think I'll, I don't go for research here. Instead, I'll go Arvin. Then Buddy Buddy Poffin. Nah. Buddy Buddy Poffin. For a seal stone, or do we go and just nest ball? Let's see here. If we go buddy buddy puffin, we can get the rest later, right? This one, this one. Get the squad. Let's go. Buddy buddy puffin, Charmander, and do we have another Pidget EX? Yeah, cool. I'm gonna check then real quick. Let's get these out. Call for family. Let's get Rodom and Charmander and check real quick how many energies we have. Defines Belt is here. Three energies. That's a little bit on the low end. Two Super Rod. Only three energies? Okay, there's one attached. There's two energies prized. That's kind of tricky. We did not set up any... Um, Manaphy. I think is Manaphy priced? Well, I think it's it's a Giratina, right? They're playing Jet Energies. Oh, Cramran shows the part shows up. Okay, two cards in the Lost Zone. Colorus. Is it gonna be Colorus? Yes. I think the flower selecting was between Buddy Buddy Puff and Colorus. We have four seal stone. Uh, we can get Pidget out. I think we need Zard. We can also like put four seal stone there. Slap down Charmeleon and go for research. Probably even better in this scenario. To 100% indicate that we can get the entire squad out. Roxanne is away, Nazbal, there is Giratina. This is the more difficult matchup for Charizard. We can still Iono them. But this is a very difficult matchup. Six cards in the Law Zone. They can get to 10 if they really have everything. Sableye also join, joining the party. Only one Giratina so far. We can slap that. 
for a little bit of damage. Put it in the axe position. It's time for Charizard to appear, hopefully. There's a Nuzball, that's not working out, so Charmeleon here. Or Sealstone here. Nuzball. We get another Charizard. Nah, we don't have that many Zards. A Radiant Zard could get trapped. So I think I'll, I'll take nothing here. And then go for Professor's Research. Yeah. Mist Energy could protect ourselves, by the way. And um, it looks like we currently do not have... Ah, uh, we don't have a Zard here. Well, actually, we don't have Candy and Zard. Nothing. Nothing of that sort. Can evolve into Charmeleon. Just let them take a couple of prize cards, I guess. But it still feels pretty bad. We can attach here. Slap down Charmeleon here. Then go for Star Alchemy. I'm gonna try something, even though it's like it looks very bad. I know. Um, we're candy. Candy Pidget. We retreat into Rotom. Then we quick search. can still try and trap him, right? We still need Super Odd as well because we are currently running really low on energy. So I'm gonna quick search for Super Rod. Defines Band, is it in here? Yeah, okay. And then let's go for the Insta Charge. This seems pretty bad. <laughs> I know. Uh, weren't able to get. We have like two Charmeleon though, but Manaphy also prized. So I wonder if they're playing uh, any water energies. That would be like super scary. 90 90. Charmander goes away. Charmeleon goes. That actually would not be too bad because then we can put a Mist Energy. Onto our Charizard, being immune from uh, Star Requiem and one shot and Giratinos. That would be like the dream. So please do it. KO these two. They could do it. I don't see any Radiant Greninja. They are playing Water Energies, but there's a Water Energy already in the Lost Zone. Two Colors played. Nine cards in the loss one. It it doesn't feel it doesn't it is not very good for us. We've have we have taken no prize cards yet. Also, if they KO Rotom, they take two prize cards, which means with the Fines Band we can knock out Giratina V Star in combination. We can like go for maybe a, an Iono on top of the Fines Band. That would be like superb. Radiant Greninja. That's no second Giratina. So maybe they're gonna fall into that trap. They can only get one Tina at a time. Which is beautiful. Okay. All their disruption is gone. Iono, Roxanne, all that good, good stuff. What can we do? Rotom's in the active position. Uh, I wish it's gonna get exploded by a lost impact. They're gonna go for attachment on the Sableye. Giratina fish that are showing up as well. <clears throat> 10 cards in the lost zone. That was the attach of the turn. I think they're gonna Mirage Gate here, right? They have to Mirage Gate. Please take two prize cards. Then we can slap for enough them. Prime Catcher Ring? Charmeleon. Okay. Only taking one prize card. That's so sad. That is so sad. And we can Turo, do some Turo situations as well, right? 
Let's see here. What are we gonna do? We are gonna go for... Definitely need the Charizard. We have the boss place. Arvin. Let's get... Ultra Bolt. The Fines Band is not gonna be doing anything at this point, but we can still grab it. Only one energy, that's like the silly part about all of this. Hmm. That is the silly part of all of this. <clears throat> we have the Defines Band. Radiant Zard can Radiant Zard is actually pretty interesting, right? If we can Charizard. If they have taken two prize cards, put three energies on the Radiant Zard, KO this one. That's actually pretty interesting. Um I could slap this down. Get the Defines Band. Get an attachment of the turn here. Go for an Ultra Ball. This away. This away. Get the Charizard. We're gonna have to super roll, unfortunately, the energies. So Charmander comes back, 70 HP, energy, energy. We transform into Charizard. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, and three. We then go for quick search. Counter capture. Tina. And we can also use Artisan a little bit, I guess. We can get another Charmander, but that's weak to Sableye shenanigans, so it's kind of tricky. Uh, we have access to another Super Rod, which we will need to find. We have Collapsed, and the Turo is in here for the Zard. Okay. We can also retreat it, I suppose, but we currently have no energies left. Maybe we draw some energies from the prize cards. Combustion Blast. Say ya! Get out of here, Tina. Man. And they can only slap one that one Tina down at a time. Come on, energies. No energies. What? Okay, that's so bad. That's the silly part about... Two energies still lurking around in the prize cards. Now we need to play Super Rod and try to find the energy. So bad. If I had an energy here, they could have slapped down another Tina, then we can boss and knock out Tina. See how we go with that? Could have equipped the Mist energy already, but they can knock out another Charmander. I, I don't care about another Charmander. Yeah, now Sableye is gonna go crazy, and we're gonna Turo the Charizard, but we cannot like do Turo as well as using. We don't actually need to Turo, I suppose. If we just manually retreat, we just need to find Arvin, Arvin, Super Rod, and then we're good to go. Interesting battle, by the way, against Tina. Cool thing is that they bench lock themselves, so only one Tina at a time can appear. water energy in the law zone as well. I don't think they're playing like three water energies with that many jets in there as well. Prime Catcher has been used already. They could still have Iron Leaves. But that's also a two prize Pokemon. Have the mist energy to protect ourselves from TM Devo, Star Requiem, etc. We have a boss, but nothing we can do with that. We can trap, I suppose. How many? One jet in the lost zone. On top of one switch card and one jet in the discard pile. That's not a lot. Hmm. 
this is a bad situation to be in. Because we didn't draw, like two energy still in the prizes is like so annoying. If we had an energy, it would have been so easy just bossing up the Tina that now comes into play. If they happen to find something like Nazbal. Artisan. Maybe they don't plan on slapping out any Tinas. You're gonna have to do that at one point where it's a Roxanne. Concealed guards. The cool thing is that Radiant Zark can also one shot Giratina. And we have Quick Search, right? So we can Iono them to a low hand size. Another Mirage Gate. Okay, they're planning to attack with Greninja. Taking two prize cards in the process. Dang. Yeah, but Manaphy and two fire energies that are in the prize cards. There's nothing I can do here. But if we KO this draw power as well. We need to like go for an Iono. A vacuum away. Artisan, alright. Moonlight Shuriken, say goodbye Charizard, say goodbye Charmander. But now we can Iona them to a really low number, which is great. They go down to two, and we knock out Charizard in the process. Uh, the Radiant Greninja in the process. More candies, more problems. We need Iono. Do we need Iono? They can Mirage Gate and get Iron Leaves out, right? There's no other way. Quick search. Yeah, there's no other way. We need to Iono. Yeah. But then you can retrieve and go for Sableye. So maybe it is better to go for a Super Rod because everything seems to be priced, which is really, <laughs> it really is bad. Going for Super Rod. Okay. This one cannot get sprinkled. This is gonna be our saving grace. Pidget can also attack. Let's just put that over here. And then Super Rod. Energy, 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 energy. Triple energies. There's a Charmander there. I cannot leave that be. Two Charmanders. Do we get another Charmander out? Three energies. One. Yeah, maybe doing it like this. Let's go. Radiant Zard? Maximum Bell, why the hell not? And... Insta Charge, there's nothing that can KO Pidgeot. We have the two roll already in hand, so we can Quick Search. Or maybe we can Iono first. I wonder what's gonna happen here. They cannot sprinkle Charizard, but they can establish an Iron Leaves. If they can get enough energies into play. They can Greninja again. Which is exactly what they're doing here. Is that only the second Mirage Gate? No, nah, the third one is into the Scarpal. Oh! Putting it all on the stable eye. Energy there. Bosses orders? Iron leaves? Man, they had everything! Yeah. They had everything. So with that in hand, Iron Leaves really destroys Charizard. That was well played by the opponent. Nothing I could have done there. <laughs> with Manaphy being prized. And two of our energies. Like we gave up two prize cards just because of Manaphy. There was a turn where I could have done at least something. But with Iron Leaves and the Tina V-Star, it is definitely scary. Okay. 
Let's play one more game with Charizard and Pidgeot. Let's see where we eventually land with the deck like this. Jirachi is not. It would have not mattered. It would have not mattered. Although instead of Mist Energy, Jirachi could also be a consideration, I suppose. Like this second Rodon could also become a Luminion in certain situations. You could also think about Lost City. Yeah, Charizard list. You can think about so many things. Uh, but the Giratina deck is very difficult to win. Lost and Giratina, one of the more difficult matchups of the deck. Okay, next opponent. We are ready. Please give us something that is not Lost and Giratina. You can win against Lost and Giratina, but. It's difficult. I will go first. Come on. Nesball, Buddy Buff, and Rotom. These are the treat cards I really want in the opening hand. No! Two Puffins and no Pokemon. Reminds me of the days of VIP Pass. Yeah, we're already exposed here. They know what we're playing. We can go first, so maybe we can get the aggressive Charizard out. By the second turn. Let's go. One Charmander, one Puffin. Let's go. They get one Mulligan. We are totally fine with it. Okay, Mew EX. Makes me think Future Box. Okay, here we go with the Poffins, Charmander, Pidgey. But with the Future Box deck, it's actually kind of tricky, right? Should we get the entire squad out? Yeah, Tinning the deck. Tinning is winning. Tinning is winning. Charmander PG. Let's go. So, what do we need to do here? Let's find Candy, Nazbal, Rotom, Arvin. These are all outs to find a turn to Zard. But the first Pokemon will probably be a baby Maridon. Could also still be Roaring Moon. But that's a little bit less popular. Also not that great against uh, Charizard. Okay, it is Arvin. Makes me think Future Box, Techno Radar, Techno Radar, and Future Boost Energy Capsule. Yeah, exactly. Here comes Iron Hands as well. Okay, they're playing the unique version with Iron Boulder and all that stuff. Sure, that means they're playing Iron Leaves, which is kind of scary in this situation where the Maridon could go for Peak Acceleration. EXP share. We have Vacuum already, which actually is great. It all depends on which energies there are in play. Yeah, two grass energies again. That's something you don't want to be seeing. I'll sacrifice a PG, I guess. Yeah, this guy can actually go 50-50 on two targets if they have a psychic energy. Which is scary. Um, hmm. Vacuum is great. Energy is also great to get out of the active position if need be. Yeah, I could also call for family. Yeah, it's gonna have to be an Iono. We have counter catcher though, so we need to counter catcher that. Yeah, we have nothing. We have totally nothing. In that sense, we have candy. Yeah. Not great. We can buddy buff and more Pokemon, but I'm actually gonna try something out. 
this is fine. They're gonna get more grass energies into play and then we lose. Ah, so silly. Couple friendly. I think I have to go for couple family. Ah, Rotom. Manaphy does not work against uh, Twin Shuttle, so they can actually use that to take two prize cards, by the way. Taking down two Pidgeys. If they find Psychic Energy, that is. Yeah, this is not good. No turn to Zart. Them having everything. Will they even think about... The fact that they can use... Okay, there's Eerie. <laughs> oh no! Well, we still have Arvin, but still, man, so freaking silly. This guy is playing Eerie at the correct time. We can counter catch her. We need to top like Zard or Ultra Ball to at least stand a chance, but then they have two Grass Energies on both of these guys. There's, I don't see a way we can win. Maximum belts not doing anything. Arvin gonna have to get candy and four seal stone. Four seal stone. Star alchemy. At this point. If I attack with Zard, I lose, so I will need to go for some Iono plays later down the line. I think I'll just take this Pidget. Very candy Pidget. Attachment here. And I will Iono them while counter catching Mew EX and then try to, <laughs> try to go from there. Okay, let's take Quick Surge. The Iono for next turn. Countercatcher is also a one off in the deck, so it's going to be pretty tricky to pull off. But this is my only win condition at this point. All the rest we one shot, so we could go for Defines Band here. Or actually, Maximum Belt here. And end the turn with an attack. I might as well attack here. Let's go. It doesn't matter. Okay, the Charmander is gonna get knocked out. Then we will Iono them. Countercatcher Mew EX and go from there. Techno Radar. They're playing Penny. That is ridiculous. The Eerie really crippled us. Could have gotten away with uh, the situation. Yeah, if I just got Charizard out, the Iron Leaves would have just destroyed us. But I'm gonna try and knock out Mew EX with Counter Catcher. And uh, go for an Iona to like a low hand size. That would be beautiful. If we're able to pull it off. Gonna attach to Charmander and go for Iono. See if there's a missing puzzle piece. Iron Bundle is also still around. Here we go. <laughs> we already topped that Kayono. That's so silly. Okay. Attachment here. That defines band irrelevant. Come on, Iono. We need to get Candy's Art Countercatcher. There's a <laughs> There's simply nothing. There's simply nothing. This you you don't make this up, man. Uh quick search. I'll get the counter catcher already. Definitely the card we need here. If they have boss, we lose. But yeah. Whatever. Let's try it out. If they also have the, if they have one leaves, they win. K 
counter catchering there's a hyper blow yeah knock out our rotom then we can iono you to one which is even better There's an Arvin, okay. Prime Catcher? We have 100 HP, uh, there's no Prime Catcher. Did they already use an A-Spec card? No. Techno Radar? The more Techno Radars they use right now, the better it is. They can actually activate an Iron Leaves already. <clears throat> then we can not, not gonna go for the counter catcher play. It's gonna have to be something else. Definitely need to go for Iono then. Yo, we're gonna have to Iono them to one, but the problem is that they have a second copy of Iron Leaves that they can draw from the Mew EX. Yo. We can also not use Radiant Zard anymore, unfortunately. This guy. 1 to 200. Yeah, this is difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Also, born having like literally all the energies. Let's just hope their Iron Leaves can is not gonna be found after that Iono. Yeah, no, I have no shot but to go for an Iono or I lose. Quick search. All right. Here we go. All these supporters in hand. That's so ridiculous. Could give an energy here, I suppose. Let's go. We do have Turo. Ultra Ball. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Here's the Zard, and now I hope they don't have a Leaves. That's what I hope for. Yeah, might as well get all the energies out while we can. Retreat. Burning Darkness, come on. No Iron Leaves. They also have EXP share, so all their energies retain. Like, my draws were really poor in this game. There's a boss, that's great. So, if they don't draw anything right now, we can boss up Mew EX. Come on, pray. Pray. There's a switch card going into Maridon. Draw for two, whiff out on Iron Leaves, please. Or Techno Radar. They did play down Ultra Ball and Techno Radar than Arvins before. There's an Iono. Dang, Iono to one. Please give us what we need. Okay. Peak acceleration. Sure, 100. That's doing nothing to us. Now, prepare to get slaughtered. Okay, so first of all, we Arvin, Countercatcher. Countercatcher this guy. Buddy, buddy, puffin' for nothing. Sure, nothing. Don't want to play any of these cards. And then we can Quick Surge. Fetch a boss's orders and then go from there. Let's go. And now they need to whiff iron leaves. Please. <laughs> we tried, mates. We tried. This is our comeback strategy. They literally need, maybe I could have gotten like a vacuum as well. No, vacuum here and then got rid of that. They have the leaves, no. If they didn't top deck iron leaves, 
we would have been able to get away with a dub. But yeah, you can see here Charizard does uh, come with its fair share of weaknesses. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by rocking hell out like button. Helps out in many ways. Also go check out our sponsors. Uh, there is a Dragon Shield for your sleeves, binders, and dag boxes. Because you can get 5% off using the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG. There is uh, yourplaymat.com. Uh, actually, the coupon code is ZAPDOS5 for Dragon Shield. For uh, yourplaymat.com, you can get uh, your own unique custom playmat, Potan Star for your TCG Live code card needs, and then cardmarket.com if you're a European player to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day. I'll see you guys tomorrow for more Pokemon TCG Madness. Peace.